Hey, it's Gus, and I am back with an awesome Pi project. You'll never guess what. A time lapse. Okay, before we do anything, we need to put the camera in. To do this, pull the two tabs up gently on the camera slot. This will let you place the ribbon cable in. Once released, place the ribbon cable in so the metal strips are facing away from the Ethernet port. Once done, make sure it is all lined up and now push the tabs back down so the ribbon cable is secure. Now, let's boot the Pi up. So now let's test the camera. To do this, let's go to the terminal program. In here, write raspy steel hyphen o cam dot jpeg. This should take a photo. If not, then look back at the camera connection to make sure it's all lined up and connected properly. If it is, then you may not have the camera module installed. To do this, please go to my site or watch my noobs installation video to find out how to enable the camera module. Next, let's build the script and the folder for the time lapse. Create the folder by typing mkdir time lapse. Change into this folder by typing cd time lapse. In this folder, let's open up a text editor by typing nano camera.sh. Camera.sh will be the file name. In here, let's write out our program. You can grab the code from my website, or you can just simply copy it off the screen. Once done, press Ctrl, X, then Y, and then finally press enter. Now let's test the script to make sure it takes a photo. Yep, it does. So let's move to the next step. Next we need to edit the cron tab so we can automate the script to run every minute. To do this, type sudo cron tab hyphen E. Now in here, scroll down to the bottom of the file and let's type in what's on my screen or you can just get the code off my website. This will automate our script to run every minute. Once done, we will now have a working time lapse taking a picture every minute. Typing in watch ls will allow you to watch the folder and see any new images being created. To stop the automatic photos, go back into the CROD tab and put a hash in front of the line we just put in there. This will prevent it from taking any further pictures. To move the files to a computer so you can compile them into a time lapse, simply put in a USB and copy and paste them over. You can turn the files into a time lapse on the Pi, but that takes a long time. If you want to turn those files into a time lapse, head over to my website and I have another guide there to take you through the process of turning those images into a time lapse. Interested in more Raspberry Pi projects? Subscribe to me as I've got a whole heap of good stuff coming up. Also, if you're looking to learn more about the Pi, get my free crash course right here.